this is our some Mars. And the college can't colleges are going all out to uh institute new levels of tyranny on college campuses. This is from the National Review on line uh, nationalreview.com. We're gonna start Cornell University has some pretty I'm not gonna deal with that word guidelines for a school supposedly I'm just gonna say infantile guidelines for schools supposedly attended by the brightest and most capable minds. They declare that no one should hang mistletoe and it's not even for the reason you might think, which would be of course because mistletoe pressures people to kiss, which perpetuates rape culture and sexual assault, and no one would be safe. That's utterly absurd. Nope, the reason is even more ridiculous than that. Mistletoe is associated with Christmas, and non-Christian students could obviously be traumatized by having to see Christmas-related things during Christmas time. That is incredible bullshit. These people are seriously mentally ill. Other items in this category include trees decorated with any kind of religious anything. It did clarify that trees with bows, garlands, or lights will be allowed. Hang on. But should be basic of dialogue with in-unit or living area. That is bullshit. Whatever that means. As well as angels, trees, and stars, and tops, and menorahs. University members are reminded to be respectful of the religious diversity of our students and colleagues and our, meaning Muslims, and our... <laughs> are encouraged to use an inclusive approach focusing on the winter season rather than a particular holiday and advice. Go to hell! By the way, guidelines for the display of religious symbols and guidelines for inclusive seasonal displays were included in a document titled Fire Safety Guidelines for Holiday Decorations. Which could technically suggest they're saying mistletoe would also be a fire hazard. Unbelievable. Perhaps they don't realize that you actually don't need to douse mistletoe and gasoline over an open flame before they're hanging it. To be fair, the university did say that it's okay for students to privately place religious-related items in their own rooms. Yes, privately. So, like where? Inside their pillowcases and under their beds? I would say so. University of Te Tennessee, Knoxville. Knoxville openly stated that its so-called best practices for inclusive holiday celebrations in the workplace was not an official policy, but a way to show the school is fully committed to a diverse, welcoming, and inclusive environment. <laughs> That's BS. To show your holiday party is not a Christmas party in disguise, it advises. Oh, get bent. After all, you know how sneaky and insidious people can be with their holiday spirit. Document recommends including food and decor from multiple religions, which was actually a bit confusing, considering guidelines later stated that refle refreshment selections should be general, not specific to any religion or culture. Go to hell! Also advise that you not call Secret Santa Secret Santa, but instead something like Practical Joke gift exchange or secret gift exchange. That is incredible bullshit. 
neither of which have the same ring to it. Games of Dreidel were deemed totally offensive no matter what you call them. <sighs> Unbelievable. So, let me get, get this straight. If you don't know what Dreidel is, it's like a Jewish top. I've uh, seen them in the stores. It has to do with Hanukkah. It's like a little toy they buy their kids. Jews buy their kids. It's harmless. But now, suddenly it's public en enemy number one. Actually, in my book, public enemy number one is sitting in the White House. But considering having a New Year's party and include decor and food items from multiple religions and cultures, as suggested. Go to hell! I'll celebrate what I want. Use it as an opportunity to reinvigorate uni individuals with New Year's goals and priorities. Yes, a snowflake-themed life coaching session. How fun. That's their comment, sir. So let's look at what Ohio State's doing. Put this on hold for a sec. Ohio State University described its guidelines as a living document of suggestions for how to avoid showing disrespect or disregard for the religious beliefs or non beliefs of our students and colleagues. Go to hell! That is bullshit. Decorations and sh food should be general and not privilege any religion. Go to get bent. So, you know, keep your uh, sugar cookies blank. Probably a good idea. After all, when I see one of those Pillsbury Ready Bake Christmas tree printed sugar cookies, first thing I do is I get upset about how brutally disrespectful I've been. <laughs> Did say that bows were okay, kind of okay, but preferably not red and green ones which would be taking it a bit far. So you can't have red and green bows at Ohio State. Seeing red and green can be pretty traumatizing, but it seem I feel like a simple sign outside the party saying trigger warning you may encounter red and green at this party would probably be enough. These guidelines were previously covered in an article on campus reform. There you have it, uh, major, major nutcasism. Uh, uh, the people who are coming up with this should be put in a mental hospital for the rest of their lives. This is beyond belief. So now the colors red and green together are banned on culture on campus. You can't have mistletoe. You can't have, the Jews can't have their dreidels. This has gone, this has gotten to be insane. How much more are people going to take for you to say enough is enough? We're not, uh, we're going to demand these universities be shut down until we get the PC scum out of there and get, uh, some sense in there. I mean, they need to start. Firing these administrators to think this stuff up and remove permanently their uh, qualifications because they're obviously insane. And they need to get these schools straightened out. I mean, if it's Christmas, it's Christmas. Let the Jews have their dreidels. I don't care if they play with their dreidels or whatever. I don't care if they pull up a menorah. I don't care. I don't care if Christians put up crosses. I don't care. You got a problem with it, then you have a psychiatric illness, and you need to see a mental. You need to go to a psychiatrist. I don't think much of psychiatrists, but they do have their uses. You got a problem with somebody putting up a Christmas tree? See a psychiatrist. It's not my problem. This is utterly ridiculous. This is big time wackoism. 
I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for listening. I can't believe this is happening in this country.